Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to give a talk in Q Group. I'm Zhou Xingyu from Nanyu University of Posts and Telecommunications. Today, I'm going to talk about experimental three-state measurement device independent quantum key distribution with uncharacterized sources. Here are the email and website of our group. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Besides, you can find the full text through these two links. In this presentation, we will start with the background of QKD and then introduce our pr protocol. Finally, we will give, give the results and discussions. Okay, let's quickly start with some familiar background of QKD. In 1984, Bennett and Brassa proposed the first QKD protocol DB84. In this protocol, the user randomly prepares 0 or 1 encoding states in two bases, and the receiver performs projective measurement with corresponding bases. This QKD protocol is proved to have unconditional security. Till today, DB84 is still the most widely used protocol. At the same time, it should be noted that there is an important assumption sender and receiver must be trusted. Let's compare the trusted ideal system with practical one. First, in ideal case, the user has single photon source and perfect encoding. After transmitted through the losing channel, the single photon pulses are detected by qubit detector without any loss or noise. However, in practical system, the user only has imperfect source. It may be controlled by the eavesdropper, it may suffer from non-randomized phase and uh, intensity fluctuations. In some cases, the, the multiple laser are used. Besides, the photon number splitting attack aims at multiple multi-photon components in the weak coherent source. The next encoding module may suffer from phase remapping attack and modulation errors. Finally, the widely used detection equipment are three short detectors with limited detection efficiency and dark counts. Many eavesdropping schemes have been proposed aiming at, at the imperfections of detection equipment, such as fixed state attack, time shift attack, blind attack, and uh, dead time attack. Compared with the sender, the detection side exposes more serious loopholes. Okay, to address such a problem, scientists proposed a measurement device independent QKD protocol, also named MDIQKD. In this protocol, Alice and Bob send the pulses to the untrusted Charlie after modulation and encoding. Here, without putting any security assumption on Charlie, he only needs to perform bail state measurement and announce the outcomes. So, in the in this protocol, uh, can can be immune to all the possible detector side channel attacks. However, uh, the MDIQKD still assumes that the senders prepare perfect states. Okay, let's go back to the practical system. Since the MDIQKD can solve the attacks on the detection side, the problems of senders need more attention. Some of the attacks direct at specific, specific setups and some imperfections can be easily compensated. So here, in this work, we mainly focused on the modulation error in encoding. The original MDIQKD requires almost perfect state preparation. Some following works point out that in some cases, the state preparation errors should be rather small to guarantee the security of MDIQKD. But the encoding module can hardly attain such an accurate source encoding. In the past several years, many experimental demonstrations have shown the feasibility of MDIQKD. They are mainly based on time beam encoding and polarization encoding. Most of these experiments assume that the prepared states are perfect. However, in practical encoding devices, uh, 
such as the phase modulator and polarization controller. They may exist, uh, exist errors. So the assumption may be impractical, and most of the experiments may have security low holes. Next, we will directly see how the state preparation errors affect the security of QKD system. In ideal case, the states are prepared a perfect agent states of measurement basis. In this case, if Alice chooses a Z base and uh, Bob chooses an X basis for measurement, it will result in a 50% error rate in the mismatched basis. Okay, let's consider a worst case. Alice and Bob can produce the perfect BBF4 states and measurement in the Z basis, but they make big errors in X basis. They actually prepared the same state in Z basis. Here, Eve just need to measure the states with Z basis and will not introduce any error. In this case, if the users observe the error rate in mismatched basis, they will find no error. That's quite different from the ideal case. In original BB84 protocol, the states are perfect so the data from mismatched basis can be directly discarded. While in this case, if the users make the best of this mismatched information, they will find the step preparation flaw. In other words, the error rate in mismatched basis reveals the encoding status. In 2015, uh, Professor Ng proposed the the first uncharacterized source method. Then, a tightened estimation bound with single photon source is proposed. Uh, here, we, we focused on the practical implementation of improved MDIQKD with unchar uncharacterized sources. In this protocol, Alice and Bob randomly prepare three intensities in Z or X basis. In Z basis, they prepared phi 0 and phi 1 states. In X basis, they only prepare phi 2 states. And this state can be written as the combination of phi 0 and phi 1. Here, they only assume the states are in two dimensional space while do not trust the accuracy of encoding system. Then, the encoding states are sent to Charlie for bare state measurement. Let's compare the difference between the original MDIQKD and the unchar uncharacterized sources method. First, the original protocol assumes state preparation are almost perfect. Here, all the encoding states do not have to be ideal BB84 states, but assumed in two-dimensional Hilbert space. Second, four states are prepared in MDIQKD. While in this work, Edison and Bob only prepare three states, especially only one state in X basis. So the system can be simplified and may suffer from less statistical fluctuation. Finally, in original MDIQKD, Alice and Bob will keep the successful events from matched basis. Here, they will keep all the successful events, including the mismatched basis. In a word, uh, in this work, they reduce the requirement of state preparation by reusing the successful events in mismatched basis. Here I will give a br brief introduction of the parameter estimation. The difference between the original MDIQKD and the uncharacterized method mainly on the estimation of phase error rates. Here, the P P01 uh, means the single photon contribution when Alice encodes uh, phi zero state and Bob encodes phi one state. Other parameters are in similar form. The bit error rate is formulated by the ratio of error events to all the single photon yield. The phase error rate is in similar form with an F function. In the constraint of the function, we can see four single photon contribution from mismatched basis. This means in the uncharacterized protocol, we use the mismatched information to bound the error rate. 
Except for the theoretical improvement, we also conduct a proof of principle uh, demonstration. Our experimental setup is shown in the figure. First, we use the narrow line weight continuous laser. The time being phase encoding schemes is applied by using the intensity modulators and Faraday Michelson interferometers. After encoding, the pulses are sent to chalice side and interfere in the beam splitter. Finally, the pulses are detected by the superconducting nanowire single photon detectors. With, um, and this detector have a very high efficiency and uh, low die counts. Other important parameters are listed here. Uh, among them, the misalignment error rate in Z basis is extre <coughs> extremely low. Here, we use two cascaded intensity modulators to effectively suppress the noise and finally we can obtain a high extinction extinction ratio for either the vacuum state or the encodings in z basis okay uh, here i will brief introduce the encoding process the light source is chopped by the first two intensity modulators into a pulse train with 3 nanosecond temporal weight and uh, repetition rate of, of 50 MHz. After passing through the Faraday Michelson interferometer, the phase information is encoded in the phase difference of the two pulses. Then, the last two intensity modulators are arranged to close the uh, to choose the phases. For example, in Z basis, only one pulse is let through. A stable, stable hormonal interference is very important in MGIQKD experiment. It needs the pulses to be indistinguishable in wavelengths, uh, polarization, and time. First, we apply the narrow line with continuous wave laser, and its frequency is locked to the molecular absorption line with very high accuracy. Second, we use a calibration module for polarization and uh, automatically adjust every 20 minutes okay to make sure the same arriving time we calibrate by optics delay and control the difference less than uh, 50 picoseconds finally we achieve 47 percent hormonal visibility to achieve a free running system we compensate the phase drift of phase modulators in the Faraday Michelson interferometer uh, by quickly scanning the voltages. Eight intensity modulators are adjusted to make sure they are running uh, in the optimal direct current bias voltages. The polarization calibration is just introduced in the last page. In all, considering the calibration time, our system operates with 90% efficiency. Finally, the theoretical and experimental results are shown in the figure. The transmission distance of our new method can ex extend up to uh, 200 kilometers in theory. Here, the reference one is the original MDIQKD with uncharacterized method. Uh, when compared with its simulation result, our work exhibits great improvement both in transmission distance and Q rate. The red dots represent our experimental results and show good agreement with the theoretical predictions. Here, the blue and green dots represent the experimental results in reference 2 and 3. Reference 2 is the uh, experiment of original uncharacterized method. Reference 3 is based on the loss tolerant MDIQKD protocol. These experiments, including our work, have the similar security level since they cannot only close the lock hole at, at the detection site but also tolerate errors in step pre preparation. Here, uh, in, in our work, we get 170 km transmission distance and the performance is much better than the previous two works. Uh, this is 
because we have three main advantages. First, we adopt the three-state method and place a tight bond on phase error. Second, the uh, superconducting nanowire single photon detector detectors provide higher detection efficiency, while, uh, she, uh, while it has a low decount, decount rate. Finally, the cascaded connection of the last two intensity modulators is decisive to a lower error rate in the Z basis. Mm, besides, the loss tolerant method need to moni monitor the state flow and uh, inevit inevitably introduce more equipment and operations. Here, in our work, we only need to absorb the mismatched base information without any extra operations. So our demonstra demonstration here may be easier in practical usage. In conclusion, we've put forward a practical scheme on decoy state MDIQKD with three uncharacterized state. The original perfect state preparation requirement is reduced. In this method, we only assume the state are prepared in two-dimensional space. Second, we realized an experimental demonstration with a transmission distance up to 170 kilometers. These results uh, represent the longest transmission distance when considering the South security. Okay, uh, we appreciate the support from National Key Research and Development Program of China, National Natural Science Foundation of China, and the Leading Edge Technology Program of Jiangsu Natural Science Foundation. Other co collaborators of this work include Hua Jian, Chunghui, uh, Chunmei, and uh, Li Jian. Also, we thank the enlightened discussion from Dr. Uh, Wang Shuang, Ying Zhengchang, Chen Wei, and uh, Fa Yuan Guanjie in USTC. Okay, here are the photos of our laboratory. We mainly focused on the quantum information and uh, quantum cryptography. Uh, this is the group photo of our team. In the middle of the first row are the two leaders of our team, uh, Professor Guo Gongcai and uh, Professor Wang Qing. Okay, thank you for your listening.